Do you use Tinkercad to design your 3D prints? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you a few tips and tricks. Tinkercad Tips and Tricks is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. In this episode, I'll show you how to import objects and then modify them in Tinkercad. And here's the Tinkercad basic screen. And if you come up here to the right, you see there's an import button. When you click on import, then this box appears that you can drag and drop a file. So I'll come over here to my finder. I'm on a Mac machine and I'm going to drag in my CHEP logo. That's an SVG file. Now it has to be a .SVG. It can't accept a JPEG or PNG or any of that. You can convert them to SVG first and then import them. And then it'll import to, in my case here, very, very large size. But if you grab the corner and hold the shift key, and then move forward everything in the X, Y, and Z will reduce proportionally. So I reduced the size here and now I've got my logo. And I can make it taller, I can make it shorter, I can do whatever. I'll bring in the ruler so I can see what the dimensions are and you can see it's pretty square and a little over three millimeters tall. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, I want about 75 millimeters and bring it up to 12 millimeters tall. So right now it's just an object like any other Tinkercad object. And then I'll bring in a box here behind it and I'm going to drag this across and it covers the whole thing plus a little bit. Then I'll make this box a little shorter so it's underneath my logo. Then I'll grab both units and center the two in the X and Y direction. And now I just imported my logo, turned it into a 3D object and put it on a block so now it's like a plaque. And then I could just group them together and I got my object that I can go 3D print. So that's how you can import an SVG file. You can import a .stl file or 3D print file as well. So here's a 3D print that I like, a lion from user Yahoo Japan on Thingiverse. And I clicked on import and then I just drag the file, the .stl file, into the box and click import. Now this will take a little bit depending on how complex the design is. And here's the lion imported in. And it looks a little sketchy if you look you know it's got some blue lines there but that's the way an imported file looks it actually will, in most cases will print good and I only want the head of this lion I don't want the whole thing even though it's a great great lion uh, design I just want the bust of it so I'm gonna use a box element here that takes away material and I'll slide it forward until I get to the section that I want and then what I'm gonna do is just group these guys together just so I'll have the bust of the lion for like hanging on a wall so I'll group these together and you know this is a great design but the head is what I want so that's why you might want to import something just to get a part of the file and so there it is the, the line now this will look great hanging on a wall so I'm gonna make a wall I'll just bring in a box element and size it make it a little bit thinner here and then bring the box forward so it meets up with the lion's head and then once I've got those set, now I want to center this. So I'll grab both of them, use the align tool, center it in the X and Y. Well, I'll just center it in the, the X direction. It's, it looks pretty good there, the height wise. And then I can group these together and now I have a 3D print with my wall, my block wall, with the lion's head attached to it. And it made it into a pink, so let's change it into a brown. So there's the finished unit. So that's pretty easy. There's another trick I want to show you, and this is after you've already loaded a file, like this lion's head. So let me ungroup these guys, and here's the lion's head that I loaded. Just make a copy of it. Click on it, and then click on the copy, and then you can go back to your Tinkercad menu, the main menu, and you can create a new design, or you can load an existing design, like this single screw rack box, which was a previous filament Friday. So I'm going to load that in because it's got a nice flat surface here. But now, let's say I want to put a lion's head on this thing. I've already copied it. I can just paste. And this way I don't have to wait for the STL file to load. I've already got it and it's been converted into Tinkercad format. So once you've loaded a few of these, you can reuse them just with copy and paste. And then I can grab the corner and hold the shift key and make it bigger. So it should be about the right size for this box. Let me lower it a little bit here so it fits. And if this wasn't, you know, just a box, this would look pretty good. I could put the lion head mixed with my box just by sliding it forward. The same way I did the wall. And then group these two together. 
and well, let me center it first here. I'll grab them both and I'll use the align tool to center in the Y and the X and I don't think I got the X. So let me, uh, let me grab them again and then use the align tool again. See the black dot? Yeah, I didn't get it. It turns gray when it's truly centered. So now it's centered in the X and Y and I can just group these guys together if I wanted. I have a fancy box. So that's just another trick to, so you don't have to just import a .stl. Once it's imported, then you can copy and paste it. So there you have it, a little helpful tip or trick to learning Tinkercad. So if you like this, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to check out some of my other videos, just click on them over here. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. If nothing else, click on my logo and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.